welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am stoked because today we have a big old fall Fashion Nova haul. So I've tried to order from Fashion Nova before and my package literally just never arrived. I'd like go all and call them and refund and it was a big hullabaloo. Anyway, so I ordered this time on the Labor Day sale and I was nervous that it was not going to arrive, but it is here and I'm so excited. So I thought that we could open it up together and I'll try everything on for you guys and we can see how we feel about Fashion Nova because this is my first time ordering from them. So honest review time, you guys, because nobody pays me to do this. I wish they did, but they don't. So let's open it up. All right, so packaging wise, um, not very exciting. I don't know if you guys have watched my misguided haul, but that packaging was like, it was weird, but at least they like tried, like there were lips all over it. This is just like very plain, fashionnova.com. Like, well, yeah, obviously that's where I bought it from. Like, dot com? Like, that seems weird. Anyway, um, let's open it up. We're in. Okay. So, let's see if I can find like a packing flip got a how to return and 30 percent off coupon that's cool okay great and this has prices for us okay so 10 items grand total of 196 dollars and 66 cents so i saved like 122 dollars i think i got everything on a pretty dang good sale there were just two things that are final sale in my order because they were on sale and then i got an extra sale on top of that Normally brands do that. I know that if you guys have watched some of my other videos, like how to find cute clothes on a budget, if you guys have seen that, I talk about shopping sale sections and that kind of thing, but you do run the risk of items not fitting. So I tend to purchase sale items on websites. I A, know the quality is gonna be really good and B, know what size I am for sure, like almost consistently. So like at Lulu's, I shop from there a lot and I shop in their sales section and I am almost always an extra small just across the board. So for Fashion Nova, I did the same thing. I got everything in an extra small um, and then I have one pair of jeans and I got those in a one. So hopefully that's my size. I've actually been to a Fashion Nova store before a long time ago and I tried on a dress there and I am pretty sure that I tried on an extra small and it fit. So that's basically all I was going off of because I never feel like size charts really make any sense because they say like, oh, a 23 inch waist is an extra small. I'm not that small, but the things actually fit me. So, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I just don't really believe the size charts are all that accurate. So I was trying to go off of reviews, but a lot of people like would say their measurements and then wouldn't say what size they actually bought or they'd say what size and then not say their measurements. So I'm like, that's really not very helpful for me. Anyway just went based off what I think my size is. So if anyone has any Fashion Nova tips about what size to get, you know, you can let me know in the comments. I got a dress, a jumpsuit, pair of pants, a skirt, and then the rest are tops. Now, this is a fall haul, so they're all long sleeve tops and everything is geared towards fall because I'm sick, sick of it being a billion degrees outside. Summer is just not my jam, if we're being honest. What we'll do is I will open stuff up, let you know my first impressions, and then I will try it on right after for you, not right after for me, but you'll see it right away, so don't worry. First up is a sweater. This one, I love sweater, $15 even after my sale. You guys know I love my sales. Ooh, okay. Very soft, what do we think? Black, I know, not very exciting. I tried really hard to branch out on colors. This one just happens to be black, but the sleeve is really cute. It does like that little uh, balloon sleeve thing and then it looks like, it looks tiny, but it's like very stretchy, really soft. So yeah, I like that one. Feel good about that, okay. Okay guys, first top, I don't love it. Um, it's cutting very aggressively into my armpits. This part is comfortable enough. It's too long. I don't like this length. Like why, why are we full length? It looks weird. I guess if I tucked it into like a skirt or something, it'd be fine. But like, I don't know. These are just my jeans, by the way. 
Um, and my boyfriend has a problem with the sleeves. He thinks that they look kind of weird. So I don't know. I might return this one. Like I just don't see myself wearing it because this is literally like, it's very uncomfortable in the pits. So this one's kind of a dud for being honest. Right out the gate, not a great start for us, but yeah, don't, don't love. I'm just grabbing whatever comes next. So there's not really a rhyme or reason to this. This one is the jumpsuit. You guys, I could not pass this up. Like I tried really hard to not buy it and it, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I, I had to. I'm obsessed with it. It was $26.99. So this is actually the most expensive item from my entire haul, but it's also a whole outfit in one. So, you know, that's fine. I'm so excited. Okay. This is gonna be hard to show right here. So here it is. It's from the Nova Vintage line. I will say that a lot of stuff on Fashion Nova is not really my style. It's all pretty revealing, I would classify it as. A little bit, you know, bad and bougie situation which is just not really me but the nova vintage line was more like i don't want to say girly but a little bit more feminine and classic and so i i did enjoy that better and you can like shop the that tab specifically so anyway this is from there and it is so cute pants look like they're just like straight leg but it has a silver zipper all the way down the front and it does have a tie waist I really like so that you can kind of cinch it in if it's a little bit too big or what have you and it has just like really cute denim details and this is just like a perfect medium blue and I think that this will be so cute in the fall obviously that's this haul but I do think that it would be cute too in spring or even in summer so I'm very excited about that one please Send all the good vibes you can through the screen right now that that one fits me because if it doesn't, I will probably cry, so. Okay guys, here's the jumpsuit. I have slightly mixed feelings because I think that it fits wonderfully. Like it looks like it was made for me, you know? Like it fits so great besides the fact that it's kind of extraordinarily restrictive. I can't lift my arms up past this. Like that's kind of a problem. It's like, it's just snug, real snug. And I don't have this tied very tight and it's still like, it's really tight around the ribbage. So I would like go up a size to a small, except that I'm unsure it, like I feel like I'd lose all of this really great fittedness. So maybe it's one of those things that's like sacrifice for the fashion, you know, like beauty is pain kind of situations because it's so cute. It's so cute. I love it so much. Like it's adorable. I'm just not sure. Like, would you guys return it? I don't know. I don't know because I love it. I love the way it looks so much. And if I don't ever lift up my arms, it's fine. Which like, okay, yeah, like when do you really lift up your arms? But like, say I wore this on a date with my boyfriend and he's like, oh, we're going, you know, bowling or something. Like, I guess I could, okay, I could still bowl. I could still bowl. I'm just saying there's limited movement going on here. <laughs> could dance like this. I don't know, I think I'll probably keep it because it's just so cute, but it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So maybe keep that in mind when you're shopping. I don't know, just, uh, it's just a no. Next up is this skirt, but it's actually a skirt. Hallelujah, love that for me. So much comfier. This is one of the final sale items. It was $14.39 after my deal. I don't even know how to explain this fabric. Ew, it's like a wetsuit or something. Like a swimsuit, that's what it feels like. Very weird, like very weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's cute, it has buttons down the front, it's pleated. 
Um, but yeah, it feels very strange. Like I was not expecting that material whatsoever. We'll see, but mm. one of the final sale ones too. Like why does that always happen? But it feels wacky. Like this is part of the problem with shopping online because if I were in the store and I felt that I'd be like, absolutely no, bye. You know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. okay, we're in our scuba diver skirt. What do we think? I actually think that it fits super, super cute. Like I love the way it fits. The only thing I worry about is if it looks like cheap or costumey. That's what I'm afraid of with this material, but I don't really think that you can tell. Like, let me know what you think in the comments. If you can tell that it's like a weird material, it's so comfortable. And I love that there's shorts underneath. Like it makes it so, so comfy. Um, it's quite a bit shorter in the back than it is the front. But I'm pretty sure that Fashion Nova's end game is to make your butt look big and your waist look small. Like, I think that's pretty much all they care about. So it makes sense why it's doing this illusion that I have a large tush. Because I, I don't have a large one. But it's, it's, it's helping me the best that it can, you know? So I do think that it is so cute. It's so comfortable. I would definitely recommend buying it if you like it. It's just a weird material, but it makes it comfy. So like, I'm not mad at it, you know? Okay guys, next one is a top. Okay, very pretty color. Big fan of this maroon. Um, I saw a bunch of different ways to tie this. So it's just kind of fabric and some people like wrapped it around so that it tied in the back and then some wrapped it so that it tied in the front. I mean, I don't even know, like, maybe you could leave it like that. It's a lot of boobs for me personally, but, you know, somebody might want to. This one was $16.79. It feels nice. Um, it's just like a thin kind of lightweight. Not thin in the way that it feels cheap. Just like a, a thinner, more breathable material. I think it'd be pretty comfortable. It's a little bit rough, but this is like a material that I expected from it, you know? I don't, I still can't get over that skirt. That was just bizarro land. Anyway, we'll try that top on and try wrapping it a couple different ways. See which way we think looks best. Okay guys, here is that maroon top on. It's actually a lot more comfortable and stretchier than I thought it would be. So that's really nice. I just wrapped it around a whole bunch of times and tied it in the back, which I think looks cute. And I'm gonna try to tie it another way too. Let's see how we can do it in the front. I think it's also really cute like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like which way do you like it better? Kind of partial to the front bow I think, but I do like it in the back a lot too. So yeah, this one is really, really cute. I'm really comfortable. It's nice and lightweight. So I think it'll be good because for fall, like it's a good in-between thickness, but even like moving into winter, it's good if you're going somewhere that's like gonna be indoors and you want like to wear the jacket outside but then it gets a little bit warmer when you're inside so you don't want like maybe a huge gigantic sweater so i think that this one is really really good for that so yeah i like it okay next up i am so excited about these these are the can't ignore you pant but that's supposed to rhyme these were 22.80 so they say pant but they're actually like a little jumpsuit moment very exciting so what it does, I don't think that you can wear it without anything underneath, like in the pictures, maybe, you, no. Yeah, this kind of like went, I think like right underneath your boobs is, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but obviously when we try it on, we'll know. But these are just little tie ups and you can adjust that, which is really nice. I tend to have a problem with jumpsuits because I'm fairly short so I do tend to have problems with like the crotch being too long. So it's nice that I can adjust that myself. And then they're just like a little bit of a flare straight leg pant situation. So I thought this would be so cute with a white or a black long sleeve top with a pair of booties. Are we kidding? Love, very excited. We'll try that one on. I love this jumper. Are you kidding me? Like. I feel like it's one of the cutest things that I've ever put on my body in my whole entire life. I don't know. I think it's really, really fun. The zipper was super janky at first. My boyfriend and I had struggles trying to fix it, but I think that it is fine now. Anyway, these, like I said before, are like perfectly adjustable to whatever you want them to be. So that's really nice. 
and I feel like the tush looks great. Super cute. I was a little bit worried because some of the reviews I saw, like their pattern didn't line up, but mine lines up really well, so I'm happy with that. Um, in the photo online, a girl threw a belt on over, which I think looks so cute. It really like ties this whole thing together, but I still think it's so cute without the belt. I do like the belt just to add like more of an outfit element to it. I think that it looks, I think that it looks cute with the belt, but it's really great without it too. And I just think that this one is so much fun. Like I feel so ready for fall. Like I think this is so cute. I'm super, super excited about it. And they're just like wide leg pants. So they're really, really flattering. Love, love. Okay, this next one is also from the vintage line. Again, I just think that a lot of that stuff in that section was really pretty. So that's kind of why I went for it. Excellent, excellent material. Love this. Okay, so it's a mock neck. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love a mock neck. And if you haven't watched any of my videos and this is your first time here, welcome. First of all, subscribe, come hang out some more. Love to have you. But I love mock necks. So that's, you know, rule number one about me. And I think this one is super cute. I love the detail on the bottom of this because it kind of goes a little bit higher on the sides and then cuts down and is a little bit longer, both the front and the back. Just kind of like a fun detail to an otherwise super simple top but i really like this material it feels very comfortable stretchy just like a nice ribbed little sweatery guy okay and that one was 20.99 so i think that that quality for the price is really really good because it felt so so nice okay here is that sweater you guys i literally sighed putting it on because it's so comfortable like it's so nice i'm obsessed with it I put this outfit on and my boyfriend told me that I look like Veronica from Riverdale, if you guys have seen that. And I took that as a stellar compliment because she has a really, really cute polished, like elevated style. So it looks so cute tucked in. I'm just going to show you guys untucked so that you can see the little cutout thing. So it goes up on the sides and it's longer in the front. I think that that makes it really, really cute and unique, but it also is really easy to tuck because even the shortest bits like are gonna meet high-waisted things. I think that it looks really, really cute with this skirt and it's just cute in general. I really love this top so much. The vintage line, I don't know, it's great. This sweater came in like a lilac color also, which was so pretty. Um, I don't own anything that color and I have very fair skin. So I always worry about pastels. They tend to not look very cute on me. So I opted for the white. I think it's a nice basic but it's got flair. So it's like an elevated basic, which I absolutely love. So yeah, love this top. So this next one, I believe, yeah. So this is just a plain long sleeve top. I think that having plain, like good basics in every season is key. So I thought that this one would go with our little jumpsuit number because it's just plain black. So this one was only $7.79. Okay, so like I'm not mad at it. It's a little weird, it's a little scuba diver material. Again, like I don't know why they want us all to go jump in the ocean, but it's fine. It's probably really comfortable. It's really stretchy. Kind of reminds me of like a leotard, you know, like that kind of material. It's just like a cropped long sleeve, not too exciting, but if it fits well, and it's comfortable, it'll be a great, great basic. So that's why I went for that one. Okay guys, so this long sleeve is good. I wish I sized up, but I'm like not gonna return it. I think that it's like, it's fine, honestly. It was like $7, fine, whatever. I'm not mad at it. It's nothing like special, but it's not bad at all. It's pretty cropped. It hits like right below where my ribs end about two inches above my belly button, which is a little bit shorter than I wanted it to be. But under this, it works really, really well. So I think that it'll be fine. I would not bother returning a $7 shirt. That fits me perfectly fine. So I'm happy with it. It's A-OK. -okay. okay, this is our only dress of the haul. And if you know me at all, you know that's a little bit weird. I love dresses. Definitely one of my favorite things to wear. But in the winter, I just, 
find them a bit difficult sometimes. I still have quite a few long sleeve dresses, but I just didn't see anything on there that I loved, but I did love this one. It is a waffle knit material, which I think is so comfy in the winter. It's one of my favorite materials to wear. This cinches at the waist, so it's like a hoodie dress. And then this cinches in at the waist, it has pockets, just like a nice comfy one, I think would be great for like running errands or something. Super awesome for fall and winter. This one was my other final sale item. So again, cross your fingers that this one fits because I cannot return it. Um, it was only $23.98. Was actually one of the more expensive items from my haul, but this material is so nice. It's really thick. It feels great. I'm super excited about this one. Okay, guys, here is that dress. It is so comfy. Like, I'm very much comfortable right now. The only thing is that this cinchy part is like so snug, like holy crap snug. But I couldn't have gone a size up because it's a little bit long already for my taste. And this part up here already feels a little bit big. Like the sleeves are pretty long. I love long sleeve, like having sleeves that are really long. So I'm not mad at the sleeves being so long, but I could not have sized up. So it's just, this is not perfectly constructed, but I still really like it. I think it's really cute and comfortable. Like I can easily see myself going, running some errands in this in fall or winter. I think it's really, really cute. So obviously I have to keep this one, but I do really like it. It's just, it's built a little bit funny. So that's just like something to note that this part is so, 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 so so snug anyway but it's really cute i really like it hey guys we're getting close to the end here this is my one pair of pants i almost always wear a size 25 in jeans for reference if it's helpful for you guys i'm 5'4 and i weigh about 110 pounds i don't know if that's helpful i mean i tend to think that it's helpful when people tell you what their measurements are so that you can kind of see you know which size you should be buying I almost always wear a 25. I think that's a one. My problem is that in like American Eagle jeans, I'm a zero because they do like zero two. So I was unsure. I don't buy a lot of pants in like size one anymore, but these are size one. They seem a little small. They're just black flares, which I'm so excited to have. I've been obsessed with flares lately. I'm trying really hard to not wear so many skinny jeans because they're like, not in style or whatever with like the, uh, what are they called? Gen Zers. I, th I think I'm a Gen Z, but I'm on the older end. So I don't know that I identify with all of this, like, like why are we trying to wear low rise pants? Why are we trying to wear the ugly, you know, Disney channel, red carpet, Ashley Tisdale, 12 tank tops underneath our cropped sweaters. Like, I don't want to do that. I just, I don't want to. So Slowly but surely, I am trying really hard to get into the fashions of the young people. <sighs> but I don't know, some of them are weird. Anyway, I'm trying to not wear as many skinny jeans, but I have a problem with the way that not skinny jeans look on me, besides flares, because they're still skinny at the top. So anyway, that's my attempt to not wear only skinny jeans. But here's some black ones because I only have denim ones at the moment. Um, these do, by the way, feel like denim. They're not like weird stretchy material like jeggings. Don't really like that. Um, these were $21 even. And I think if they fit, I will wear them all the time. Okay, guys, here's the jeans. I'm doing this very, very quickly because holy crap, this is the tightest pair of pants that I've ever put on my entire life. They're horrible, first of all. I never noticed, but they don't have any front pockets, which now looking like looks very strange. And like, I'm sorry, but these are not a one because the next size up would be a three and I have never purchased a three. Like that doesn't make any sense. They are literally awful. Like I feel like they're squishing my butt. Like I got no butt now because they're like, ugh, 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 hate, 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 double hate. You guys seen the Grinch? Anyway, yeah, these suck. They're awful. I will definitely be returning them. Like. There's no stretch either. Like, oh my goodness, no. 
no, no. All right, our last item is probably one of my favorites because if you guys watched my first ever YouTube video of my Shein Fall Tops haul from last year, you saw that I bought basically everything in this color. I am a sucker for orange to wear. I just think it's so cute and it's one of my favorite colors on me. So this one is adorable. Look how cute it is. Come on. That's so cute. I mean, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It's nice and light, perfect for fall. This is our good old, you know, ruched kind of material situation. It's plaid, but not plaid in an obnoxious way. You know what I mean? So I'm very excited about this. This is 100% cotton. So, you know, note to self, don't dry this one because that could be bad. Or it could be good depending on how it fits. I don't know. But yeah. And that one was only $13.80. Excellent. Okay, here is that orange top. Here it is. Um, it's honestly not the best quality. It feels a little bit cheap. But again, I only paid $13 for it. So I'm not crazy mad at it. I obviously wouldn't wear a bra with this one because this like goes out way too far. So kind of ignore that for these purposes. But I think it's really cute. This isn't completely snug to my stomach, which I'm honestly not mad at. Like it, it's comfortable in that way. Um, it's in my armpits just a titch. So I got to pull it down a little bit, which doesn't help with the not right bra situation. But I think this one is cute. What do you guys think of it? I, I think I like it. Okay guys, that is everything that I have today. What did you think of Fashion Nova? How do we feel? Let me know down below if you will shop from there now that you've seen this review or just in general, if you already do. I'm super curious to know what you like or don't like about Fashion Nova. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you all right back here next week. Bye.